Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to take your cat's vital signs at home. But first I want to thank this video's sponsor, the National Animal Supplement Council. You could find the yellow NASC quality seal on thousands of dog, cat, and even horse supplements. I'm gonna put the link in my description below so you guys can click on it and view all the brands that have earned the NASC quality seal. Cats are really great at hiding illness, but if you know how to take your cat's vital signs at home, you can detect if your cat isn't feeling well and may need to go to the vet. A cat's vital signs is known as their temperature, pulse or heart rate, and respiratory rate. All of these are known as their vital signs or TPR. So I'd ask my technician, can you go get that cat's vital signs? Thank you, and they'd come back with those values. The very first thing you should check is if your cat is alert. And you could do this by making some noise, clapping your hands, and seeing if they lift their head, open their eyes wide, and that they're paying attention to you. So if your cat responds to you clapping your hands, shaking a bell, or knocking on the floor to make some noise, that means they're pretty stable at this time. If they don't and they're just laying around, acting lethargic, they can't lift their head or walk, this means you need to take your cat to the veterinarian. The second thing you can do at home is get your cat's rectal temperature. Your cat's probably not gonna like this and you'll probably need a friend to help you hold your cat to make this a pleasant experience. You can use a digital thermometer for humans. Lubricate the flexible tip with petroleum jelly and gently insert it just past the metal tip. Hold the thermometer steady until it beeps, then gently remove it to view the reading. A normal cat's temperature is between 100.5 and 102.5 degrees Fahrenheit. The next vital sign you could check is your cat's heartbeat or pulse. You can easily do this by palpating their chest just behind their elbows, cupping your hands and squeezing gently on their rib cage to feel the heartbeats. Once you find the pulse, count the number of times it beats in one minute. A normal heart rate for a cat is between 180 to 200 beats per minute. This is a lot faster than a dog, who has a slower heartbeat between 70 and 120 beats per minute. The fourth thing you can observe is your cat's breathing rate or respiratory rate, which you should do when your cat is in a resting position like this cat right here. So while looking at a clock with a second hand, count their breaths over 15 seconds and multiply by four to get their breaths per minute. Healthy cats and dogs at rest have a normal respiratory rate of 10 to 40 breaths per minute. Take note that a cat that is in pain will have a faster than normal respiratory rate. If your cat is breathing fast, panting, or open mouth breathing, that means they are in distress and should be taken to the vet immediately. One final thing you can do at home is check the color of your cat's gums. Hold your cat's head gently with both hands and lift the upper lip to reveal the gums. Pink and moist gums are normal. Gums that are pale, blue, or gray, or bright red indicate a problem and are another reason to take your cat to the vet right away. So just remember, nobody knows your cat's personality like you do. So if you feel like something is off or just isn't right with your cat, don't be afraid to call your veterinarian to get more advice. And like always, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up to like this video. And if you've had any experience having to take your cat's vitals at home, please leave a comment below for other pet parents to read.